Hello, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna look at Microsoft Teams and the App Store. We're gonna look at how to install and configure apps, how to use them and how to install them from the store. And before we get started, just wanna remind you that I'm posting every week at the moment. So if you don't wanna miss anything, then hit subscribe. All right, let's get into it. So you may have noticed recently that you've had a couple of extra buttons added on the left-hand navigation. You've got the ellipses here and you've got this store button down here. So these are new buttons that have been added so you can use apps. Now if I go to the ellipses and click on, you'll see by default there's four entries here. And these are kind of been pre-installed by Microsoft to show you what apps are and how to use them. So for example, if I click on OneNote here, it's gonna take me through to the OneNote app. So one thing you'll notice immediately is that the OneNote isn't connected to a team or a channel like everything else is in Teams. It's actually just a free-floating app, standalone. And it's got all the OneNote functionality so I can create sections and pages and so on and manage my notes. And I can also switch between notebooks here as well. So let's have a look at another example. If I come back to the ellipsis and this time I choose Who. So who hasn't been installed yet and is asking me now to install it for me. And you can see here, I've got this toggle on and off. Yes, no, it's gonna install it for me if it's yes. And then down here, I've got a couple of feature descriptions. So these are the things that are gonna be added as part of this installation. You can see I've got a chat with a bot to ask questions and find info. So bots are simply things you can have conversations with. They're experts in certain things. In this case, the Who app is all about your organization. So it's finding information about people in your org, say who they work for, what they know about, and that kind of thing. And it's also gonna keep track of important content and info. Now in this case, for this app, Who, is actually an organizational chart that it can show you to see where people are in your org. I can also view privacy and permissions in terms of use down here as well. Once I'm happy this is okay to install, I go ahead and install it and it's ready to use. So this Who app is really cool and I think I'm gonna do a whole other video on it. So I won't go into too much detail right now. So that's two examples of apps that are already been installed. So let's go to the app store now and we can see other apps we can get hold of. When the app store opens up, you see on the left hand side, you've got some ways to search for your apps. And then on the right hand side, you've got all your apps and you can see there's lots of them. So I can search by keyword, for example. So if I type in who, you can see it's filtered my list by that keyword. I can also filter by capability, which ones are bots. And then I can also filter by category. So if I'm looking for the productivity apps, I can get them too. So when I want to install one, I just click on it so let's choose Adobe Creative Cloud. And you can see in this one, as well as installing it for myself personally, I can also install it for my team. I can just choose that by toggling on and off. So I'm gonna leave this one on and this one on. And then if I drop this down, I'm gonna see all the teams that I'm an owner of. So let's choose the Contoso HR team. And now you can see the install button lights up and I hit install. And now it's telling me uh, what functionality I'm gonna get when I install this app. So a bot, a tab, and some messaging. And that's also asking me which channel I should install it into in that team. So I'm just gonna choose the general one for now. Okay, now if I choose setup for the bot, it's gonna take me directly to the bot. Now you can see I've been dropped straight into the Contoso HR team and the general channel. And I can see over here on the right hand side, I've got my Adobe Creative Cloud bot asking me some questions. So that's worked fine. I can also go to the plus button and add Adobe Creative Cloud as a tab because I've installed that app into my team. Okay. Now if I close that and go down to the ellipsis again, because I installed Adobe Creative Cloud for me personally, I've got it here too. So I can click on it and it will start up the app for me personally. 
All right, so in this video, we looked at how to install apps and the App Store for Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, please share them with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting new ones every week.